Hello and welcome to my very first video on accounting. My name's Ellie and you might know me from my economics videos. Thank you so much for the comments, it's awesome. Um, I was really scared to, to try and explain accounting, but because you guys are awesome, I'm going to try. Okay, so this is the first intro video, which means I'm just going to run through the basics. Intro. Okay, so what is accounting, except for a big scary monster that makes you lie awake at night. Okay, so except for being a big scary monster, accounting is all about count, counting. It's all about counting the money. Okay, so it's a way for, the, for any business to record transactions and to save information for later on. I'm going to start by explaining it using a very simple example um, of pizza. So I still love pizza and my love for pizza will never change. And there is our pizza. Now we are going to start a pizza shop. So there's the shop. Okay, now what do we need to have this shop? Okay, what kind of money is going to go in and out and this and that? Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to have rent that we will need to pay. I am guessing we are going to need a scooter to deliver the pizza. I'm guessing we're going to need ingredients. So we're going to need stuff to make pizza with. Okay, stuff for pizza. Okay, and we're going to have uh, probably a driver for the scooter. So let's call this uh, staff wages, salaries and wages. And then if we're really lucky, somebody's going to buy our pizza and we will have income. income. Okay, so here's just typical things that we will be recording for our pizza shop. Okay. Now with accounting, there's a uh, like a crypt note thing that I'm going to teach you, but we'll talk about it in the next 10 videos. So it's not, you don't have to understand everything immediately. But there's a formula in accounting that states, let's put it this side, that uh, equity equals assets minus liabilities. Okay, equity equals assets minus liabilities. What I'm, so let's have a look at these things we have here and where do they fall? So rent is something that we have to pay monthly. A scooter is something that we are going to keep for quite a while. So this one is an asset. Okay, it's an asset for our business. The stuff for the pizza, we are going to spend that money quite often. Salary and wages, we're going to spend often. Income, we're going to spend often. I think to buy the scooter, because we won't have enough money up front, we are going to borrow. So here we will have a loan to buy that scooter with. So that's a loan at the bank. That is a liability. Okay, so this is our typical pizza shop business. So far we have figured out the asset part and we have figured out the liability part. So that is just really basically trying to understand the difference between an asset and a liability. A liability is something we are liable for, so it's money we owe. So that's, for example, the loan. An asset is something we are going to use to make money. Okay, so we bought the scooter to deliver the pizzas and we are going to use that asset to make money. So there we have assets and we have liabilities. Great. Okay, that's already a fantastic start. I am um, maybe it's too easy. Okay. Let's clean this up. All right. Now there are two very important or very big um, statements in accounting. So the first one used to be called an income statement, and the Next one used to be called a balance statement, a balance sheet. But now they have very long, very fancy names. This one is now called statement of financial position. This one. Statement of financial. 
differential position at and then there's a date okay so statement of financial position at and on this side we have another one let me just find that name statement of profit and loss or something like that statement of profit and loss and i think there's another thing like and comprehensible income or something 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 and then for the year ending and then a date okay so we have split these two up we've got a statement of profit and loss for the year ending and on this side we have a statement of financial position at okay this one used to be called income statement this one used to be called balance sheet now it's really fancy names that sound really like businessy and grown-up-y and very complicated but it is not really that bad so let's imagine a glass of water okay here we have a glass of water let's say the glass of water is at the moment half <laughs> half full because i'm optimistic so this glass of water is half full the balance sheet will tell you that this glass of water is half full okay so it'll at a certain date so at june 2018 this one is half full okay so it's an exact it's an amount that's quite fixed whereas this side will say other things this one might say we added 100 milliliters for the year ending one june now, I know it looks like a very silly example, but just bear with me here. This is a glass of water. The statement of profit and loss will tell us how much we added during the year or how much we took out if there was a loss. So if there was a profit, we added, and if there was a loss, we took out. Where on this side, the statement of financial position will give you the end result. Okay, it will say it is now half full.